Now the building I'm about to see is a religious building, but one like no other, both in terms of its philosophy and its architecture. This is, without a doubt, one of the most unique places of worship I've ever seen. Nestling in the foothills of the Andes, it's Santiago's Baha'i Temple, the last of eight temples built around the world by the Baha'i faith. And this is just ridiculously beautiful. It's so elegant, but I love the way it's positioned. You've got the city of Santiago with all of its hustle and bustle right down in the lower valley. But then at the back, it's just surrounded by the Andes. At first glance, it looks like a simple structure, but it really is a triumph of technological innovation and architectural flair. When the architect was responding to the initial brief, he wanted it to feel dynamic and have movement. So the architect surrounded the building in nine separate sections. Soft lines that swirl up the temple and merge at the top. He called them veils, ethereal structures draped over the dome. They twist around each other, rotating around and turning, and it creates this really elegant form. There's so much movement within the architecture. I love it. And amazingly, this majestic building is made from a material you'd be more used to finding in your kitchen. Because it's Pyrex. And why they've used this material is because it's thermally resistant to a massive amount of heat, just like a Pyrex dish. But what the architects have done is something very different. It took two years of experimentation with the material to get this amazing texture. It's smooth to the touch, but you look at the variation across its surface. It's quite marble-esque, it's quite quartz-like. I can't believe it's Pyrex. <laughs> unfussy and unthreatening, the building's designed to welcome all faiths and religions. Now, because this is a very sacred temple, a place to relax and meditate and contemplate, you're not allowed to talk inside. So enjoy the pictures. The minute you walk in, your eyes are dragged upwards to the apex of the dome, where the coiling veils meet at the center of a nine-pointed star. The Pyrex on the outside is overlaid on the inside with thin marble panels, creating a translucent form. So the color of the walls changes from dawn to dusk. Now on the one hand, this building is unbelievably complicated. It's a feat of engineering that I've hardly ever come across before. But on the other hand, for a building to be spiritual, sacred, bring people together in the most beautiful way, it needs to have simplicity. And the architects have achieved that in this building in abundance. I have to say, this temple matches the splendor of any of the world's greatest cathedrals.